Welcome to Getting Connected with BYOT. I'm Alana. And I'm Jack. We're here to go over with you the Bring Your Own Technology Initiative of Williamson County School System. In these segments, we're going to talk about some of the great things that are going to happen and also some common misconceptions associated with this strategy to get our students involved in 21st century learning. We're going to go out to Cole, who is at Chapman's Retreat Elementary School, to talk with Tara Wilhelm about how BYOT is being used in her classroom. Thanks guys, this is Cole with Mrs. Wilhelm from Chapman's Retreat to give us a look into how BYOT is being used at elementary schools. Mrs. Wilhelm, what grade do you teach? I teach fourth grade. And what kind of projects are your students doing with BYOT? We can do um, things like blogging on the internet, we can do math practice online. I want to see them using um, camera and photography skills to input the information and then create slideshows for projects that go uh, tie into the curriculum. So. Great, and I see you have an example of a student's project. KidBlog is a blog um, website where the kids can go on and they can blog about something. So in this instance, we were learning about um, people during the revolutionary times and so they, each student was given a person to um, research and after they researched then they had to create a timeline and find pictures. And then students can go on each other's blogs and make comments. What kind of devices will students be able to use with BYOT? They could use things like their iPads, their iPods, their iPhones, tablets, anything that has a browser that they can log into the guest network and be able to use. What are some of the rewards of students using the BYOT program? Getting to see them engaged in their learning is really exciting for me and taking initiative in their learning and then with all the technology available to them that wasn't available even to me when I was a student that they've got to be prepared for the world that we live in. So the technology that they get to use now will help them as they become adults and work in the workforce. Thanks for showing us how BYOT will be used in elementary school classrooms. Now back to you at the studio. Thank you so much, Cole. That was a great look at how some of the younger students are using BYOT. In the future, we'll be looking at how some other schools are implementing BYOT. As always, you can check out the BYOT website if you have any questions on this program and how you can become more involved with the program. We'll see you next time. I'm Alana. And I'm Jack. And this has been Getting Connected with BYOT.